Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Cerebro, and I have the pleasure to have today over the phone a very talented artist, Mr. Avin Suarez. And who is this wonderful artist? He's the leader of a fantastic band that is called Los Diegos del Barrio. Did you see how I pronounced it right? Los nice. Diegos del nice. Barrio. And you're going to hear a lot about this. This, this band, if you haven't heard about them already, uh, because the song I Won't Back Down is a song that we're going to be playing a lot over the next few days. So if you're wondering why and who is that wonderful band, here we are telling you about this great band, because I have right now over the phone, Mr. Alvin Suarez. How are you today, sir? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you so much um, for the intro. And I, I, I was saying... You know, you say that name better than I do. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I like it. I know you're, you're too kind. I'm sure you're doing much better. So, um, so first of all, congratulations for all your wonderful achievements, uh, for the beauty of the song. Congratulations for the, the, the arrangement. Congratulations for the production. And also for all the good feelings that you are spreading through your music and also through yourself as individuals. So really, this is something that needs really uh, uh, to be uh, acknowledged. So for the people who don't have the pleasure of knowing you, can you tell me about yourself personally before we start to talk about the band? Where are you from sure. and what brought you to be a musician? Wow, thanks. Uh, thank you very much for the compliments. Uh, that's really wonderful to hear, and I'm, I'm glad that we are affecting someone somewhere. Uh, that's certainly our goal. Um, but anyway, my name is Alvin Suarez. Uh, I'm from New York City. Uh, I was born, uh, along with my twin brother Derek, who's also in the band, uh, in uh, Spanish Harlem. Uh, and I currently live in the Upper East Side near Spanish Harlem, really where I grew up. Um, and I was influenced um, by my dad, by our dad, who was also uh, a pretty accomplished musician himself. Um, uh, I took a liking to Latin music, even though Spanish is my second language, and then rock music was kind of my home. Um, that was my preferred um, music, especially like in the 90s. So I've kind of um, taken both influences and, um, you know, kind of fused them together, uh, kind of like a lot of uh, Latin music is now. It's just fused together with other types of music, and it's all pop and rock and stuff like that now. So that's, that, that's really beautiful. I love, you know, the... The, the, the sound that you bring in your music is a, a lot of beautiful color, a lot of joy. And when you say that Spanish Harlem, I'm definitely hearing it in a way, you know, because I hear <laughs> this uh, camaraderie of, of uh, people. I hear the apartment uh, 3B talking to the 5C, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, I hear all of that. So now, how that band... Um, started uh, to be together. What, what is the story of that band? Well, it's funny. The band's been around for a while. Um, back in the 90s, we started, and it all uh, began right here in my living room. Um, we were all pretty good friends, um, um, mostly since childhood. And we, it, we first began just jamming, um, just playing. We picked up some instruments. And we started playing, and it sounded pretty good. It wasn't the um, – the personnel has changed over some time, but originally, um, you know, um, with some bottles of whiskey in hand, as we uh, began playing in our living room, uh, one of the guys shouted, Llegaron los ciegos al barrio. Now, the name in Spanish means the blind boys from the neighborhood because all of us are legally blind. And so he said it as kind of a joke. He was just kind of joking around. Uh, but then we just – you know, kind of took that name and, you know, I, I tried to get better alternatives for it, but then it always just kind of came back to that name and we're like, ah, the heck with it. We'll just, you know, we'll stick with that name. It, it's, uh, you know, it, it sounds, you know, offhand like a good marketing tool, but when you get a little older and a little wiser and you gain some more experiences and, and you realize how you can affect people uh, with your music, you kind of, change course as you mature a little bit and then you realize you know what uh we can change we can take that name and change the the negative 
connotations that the word ciego has, you know, because usually in Spanish, it's kind of a strong word for blind. Uh, and a lot of it's been used more in kind of a negative connotation. But what we can do is just by being who we are, we can demonstrate that ciego is what we are rather than who we are. Because the music and everything that we do with the power of music is who we are now. So evolution does happen, um, whereas it starts with a joke, but then it ends with purpose. And that's that's what where we are right now. And we're currently working on our sixth album, and we, we, we've enjoyed this uh, ride, and, and we're, we're very blessed and privileged to have lasted this long, and we're really grateful for the support of everyone that's given it to us. Wow. It is so inspiring what, what, what you're saying, and, and, and I'm in such admiration uh, for you and, and for what you're doing because – let me tell you, a lot of people who are not legally blind or, or perfect eyes, you know, let's call it that way, uh, they they cannot do one percent of what you're saying, of what you're doing, you know, and and you are so active, so prolific, so, so it's so inspiring, and I I hope you're very very proud of what you're doing because. Um, I mean, we we all look like uh, children compared to you. you know? <laughs> it's, it's it's really really amazing. And so, uh, f- forgive my my question, but all the members of the band are all legally blind. Yeah, yeah, wow. um, yeah. Different deg- to varying degrees. Like all of us have a little bit of vision, but uh, legally blind uh, in the United States means uh, you have some eyesight. But it's, um, there's a certain threshold that you have to meet to cross that line between someone who can see and someone who is blind. And uh, we all see pretty terribly. <laughs> so, oh, uh, so we're all legally blind. Um, but in terms of – I like what you said about the children thing. And, and you know, the, the thing about children is that all of us can grow. And I've always been a believer that everyone has something great to offer, even when we don't think so. And, and that's whether you're blind, not blind, uh, no matter what you are, there's always a who you are. And the who you are is what determines what you can do with yourself and, and how you can affect others. Um, and we hope to exemplify that in some way. Well, that, that's really, really inspiring and it's beautiful, uh, definitely to, uh, hear, uh, more, uh, about it. So now, would you be so kind to tell us the names of the band members uh, of uh, this great group that, you know, you only want to to, to to support and buy some of these albums? The name of the band is called Los Ciegos del Barrio. Can you introduce to us uh, the members? Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. Um, well, my twin brother, Derek Suarez, he is um, the bass player in the group, uh, and he's sings most of our, in, our our Spanish stuff. Uh, I, I say he sings maybe 70% of the music. Uh, he's my twin brother. Uh, and then um, Machete, he is our keyboard player. Uh, that's his stage name. Um, he currently lives up in Massachusetts, but he comes down to uh, when we have a string of shows. He is our keyboardist, and he also sings some of the songs. I, actually, all of us sing. Uh, and by the way, Derek, uh, is my co-writer in a lot of the songs as well as Machete. Um, and then Jimmy Fontanez, he is my partner in crime with production. <laughs> uh, he's also a brilliant engineer and my partner in crime on the drums and percussion. And I'm Alvin Suarez. I'm the uh, drummer and, uh, guitar player, um, and I sing a lot of the, the more recent English stuff. Um, and then we have a couple of members um, to mention, people that we use once in a while um, that are sometimes on the albums. But it's uh, Jaime uh, Diaz. Um, he's on our earlier stuff, but he'll gig with us uh, from time to time. He's a, a pinch hitter on the bass guitar for us. And then our, our boy, uh, Jess Dre, that's his stage name. He plays in a spin-off rock band called the Dreadbeat Dads. He's on our album as well sometimes so, uh, sometimes on some of our songs um, and plays uh, guitar. And uh, also wow. shout out to Tony Jimenez, who's uh, another backup um, percussionist as well as 
uh, Domingo Pasquale, that are percussionist. But well, that's really, really beautiful, and I can't wait to meet all of these guys. So um, I want to say to people who are listening to, to the show, if you want to support these amazing audience, they have great, great, great album, which you can purchase on iTunes, um, and you just put uh, Los Ciegos de Barrio. They have released uh, Live in the Havana, Cuba. They have released Por Que, Por Que in 2009, uh, Dominando 2003, uh, no, no, dude. <laughs> dude. Yeah. Uh, 2000, uh, which was their very first album. And they have released recently, uh, Baby Boy or uh, Mama Used to Say in 2015. Uh, you can really support these amazing people. Uh, so now, yeah, go ahead. Uh, sorry, we, we also have an album, uh, that we did in 2016, um, called El Futuro. Uh, and that's the most recent studio release um, before um, the new one that just came out uh, last week. But well, we definitely uh, uh, check this out. And you know what? Mm-hmm. We're going to play uh, a lot, of course, uh, the, the song I Won't Back Down uh, right at the end of this interview, but also throughout the next week. So if you're listening Thanks. to some great music, you know it comes from Los Ciegos de Barrio. You know, don't look anywhere else. These guys are absolutely uh, terrific. So are you guys per- performing live? Because I see that you're doing uh, – I, I, I checked some wonderful videos of you guys on YouTube and all the platforms. Uh, what, what are your next uh, gig? Oh, my gosh. Uh, we're in the middle of an extremely busy time. Um, we just did a show, like, just a couple of hours ago, really, Um at the Palisades uh, Credit Union ballpark um, for the Rock and Boulder. So we, I, I literally just got home not even an hour ago. Our, um, let's see. So our next live public performance, uh, we, we have one in uh, New York City downtown and then another one in Washington, D.C. slash Arlington, Virginia. The, um, on Monday, which I believe, yeah, Monday the 18th, um, believe it or not, we're playing at the Marble Cemetery downtown, it's an acoustic show, but it's a community event supporting um, affordable housing for New York City uh, residents um, and uh, wanting uh, for a community for you know, New Yorkers, especially the middle class who have fallen victim of gentrification and are generally being priced out of New York City these days. So that's um, an event that supports that community. Uh, and by the way, these events can be found on our website, losciegosdelbarrio.com. Uh, and then I'm uh, happy to announce we are going to the Washington, D.C. area for our very first performance there. And that will be at uh, Clarence in Central Park uh, for the Make Music Day Festival. And that's an all-day event. We are kicking it off at 11 a.m. So you can have lunch at the park. Come uh, check us out. Uh, Derek and I will be there, and we'll be doing some work with Arlington uh, Independent Media with our good buddy uh, Brandon Charles, who's a host of Breaking Boundaries down there. And there's going to be some fundraising um, for them because they're they're not really a commercial station. They're um, really just supported by the community. And those are really just two of the next – uh, performances, and then we're, um, in terms of public performances, I guess I'll just give you guys the next three. On July 10th, we're playing at Downey Hugh Park for the uh, Jazz on the Lawn Festival, and I believe that's at 7 p.m., uh, but we book very quickly, so um, there are a lot of shows scheduled all the way through August, uh, including shows in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Boston, Massachusetts. I mean, we're really all over the place. So if you go to losdiegosofvalio.com, you'll be up to date. I mean, there, this is only a drop compared to what else we've got planned. Well, I, I can't wait to see you guys uh, perform. And we're definitely going to support, uh, I said, we're going to support this great band, Los Ciegos. Let me spell Ciegos, C-I-E-G-O-S. Del, D-E-L, Barrio, B as boy, A-R-R-I-O. You have to check these guys out. They're absolutely phenomenal. Uh, please support them by purchasing uh, their album. 
go to see them on stage. I love the song and share the information on social media. But right now, we are going to play I Won't Back Down, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Saviro. I had the pleasure to have today on iHeartRadio, the very talented band called Los Ciegos del Barrio. And I had the leader of the band, Avin Suarez, a very talented man, very dedicated. But right now, without further any introduction, I Won't Back Down. No, I won't back down No, I won't back down You could stand me up at the gates of hell And I won't back down Let's get involved politically. We can do 